All right, man, so look, we back at it again with another crazy video. Now, before we get to the video, I need y'all to do me a big, big favor. Go down below in the comment section, answer the poll question of the day. So today, poll question is, you feel me? Hold on. It's something, it's a little slight today, but I just want to know how y'all doing today, man. How y'all doing today? Just, just do one word, good, bad, sad, terrible. How your day going today? That's all I want to know. Me personally, my day is going fantastic. I'm just blessed to be here today. Y'all let me know how y'all day going. Without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing? Follow your boy on IG, also the podcast channel. Y'all don't want to miss it, man. It's fire, okay? Y'all don't want to miss it. It's fire. Go down below, check it out. But without further ado, let's get into the video, man. <laughs> We are grieving for our loved ones. Yes. Also, I forgot to mention, check out, uh, shout out to Black Conservative Perspective. I watched his videos back in the past, bro. Uh, me and him got the same point of view on a lot of different things, but uh, just go ahead and check him out, man. Uh, this is from his channel, so check him out. We are grieving for our loved ones. Yes. Our kings. Yes. Our queens. Yes. Let's not forget that. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can't say that I'm embarrassed to be a black American with this story right here because this story is not about black Americans. But apparently the uh, black woke revolutionaries in the UK are basically the same as the black woke revolutionaries here in the US, okay? And when I say black woke revolutionaries, I don't mean all black people. A lot of black people out there are not woke, right? They actually do have some common sense. And they're not protesting for a rapper who allegedly tried to ram police with his vehicle, which is exactly what this story is about right here. But the reason why I'm covering it is because these people, these BLM protesters have decided that they're going to not only protest, but they're going to protest at Queen Elizabeth's Memorial over a drill rapper by the name of Chris Cobb. AKA Wait, it's so you telling me that these people protest at Queen's uh, Queen Elizabeth Memorial over a rapper who lived by the look a lot of rappers they, they, they don't know what a lot of rappers do they live by the gun they die by the gun I'll be honest I mean if you live by the gun most likely you're gonna die by the gun and from just this little scene right here I'm not trying to judge a football's cover but he said drill rapper number one drill rappers if you don't know nothing about drill. Their music, first of all, is terrible. Second of all, all their music talk about it, killing drugs and having sex with women. So, I mean, seriously, you protesting about a man who done, who tried to ram his car into the police, first of all, and y'all protesting at Queen Elizabeth Memorial. Why? It's a time and place for everything, and that right there was not the time and place. That's... 67. A drill rapper being shot and killed by... Police, right? They're saying that we're mourning our kings and queens, right? They're kings being drill rappers. And if you guys don't know what drill rap is, drill rap is probably the worst of the worst type of music. Hey, I t bro, I swear I did not watch the video. I swear, I told you, man, this man got the same point of view. That's why I started watching, like, men, I stopped watching months ago. Only because we got the same thing. I don't want people calling me, oh, you're acting like black assertive perspective. Like, no, I'm not. I'm just acting like the pen. That's who I act like where they glorify selling drugs, killing, violence, all types of things that primarily has a negative effect on black people, okay? And apparently that has made its way over to the UK. And that has also resulted in a deadly, you know, war between UK drill rappers and that country as well too. So everywhere this music goes, it creates a toxic negative effect and it's one of those things that, in my opinion, stories like this is the reason why black people <laughs> in Western society, that is, can't get ahead, right? We can't get ahead because we place way too much value on people who did not provide a positive contribution to our society or community. Exactly. So with that being said, I, I want to talk about this. But before I get into this, I just want to let you guys know. If you like my channel, you want to support my I never understood why a lot of black people, they hold these people who, who do so much violence in the black community, who talk about killing other black people, but they hold these people up to the higher standard. Like, they, these people are they freaking gods. They, they're the gods, bro. I never understood that. I would not, I can't protest... I can't protest and say Black Lives Matter for a man who literally lived by the gun, died by the gun. Not only that, he was not nothing positive to the black community. He may did something here. He may did something there. But in every song he talk about, he talk about killing another black person. 
Oh, but Black Lives Matter. Man, get out of here with that goofy stuff. My channel, man. you can check out my merch, my donkey pox shirts, the disease that is affecting America, or my hashtag no days off slash hard work patriotic t-shirts, or my BLM shirts. <laughs> Bill Large Mansion. That's crazy, by large. <laughs> I, it's crazy to my girl just said that in the, uh, the podcast was talking about BLM and she said buy luxury mansions, but you could do buy large mansion. I guess that sounds okay. Shirts, they are available at my website, gformanbcp.com. You can get 20% off using discount code gformanbcp. So without further ado, let's actually play this video of these people protesting so we can get a better idea of what <laughs> they're talking about and their grievances. Take a look. <clears throat> Have you noticed most of this fight is normally done by strong black queens, right? This fight is done by strong black queens. And I'm about to introduce another one. They keep putting certain types of people in spaces to discriminate against us be racist against us and continue this cycle and process and there are people that continue to believe in this racist system like y'all y'all the people y'all are the people they continue to believe in it so to the point that they keep on trying to defame chris's character in the media they keep doing it they keep trolling and they keep trying. And are we going to allow them to do that to Chris? No. Or anybody else? No. We've been treating Chris as if he was our own because he is our own. Because he is our own. Yeah. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. Touch one. No justice. No justice. No justice. No racist. We will never allow the victims of this kind of violence on either side of the Atlantic. It, it's crazy because I see, look, this is the thing. I can understand. Now I kind of understand uh what what they're saying. And the reason why, let me hear me out. The reason why I understand what they're saying is simply because when when people get around their family or their mother, everything changes. Everything changes. But then again, I just thought about it. The man was a drill rapper. He was a drill rapper. I'm pretty sure they listen to his music. Uh, I'm pretty sure they seen the things that he done did, you know, in his music. So he know, they know that this man was not innocent. He probably get around his mother, his family, and want to act all sweetheart and act all this and act all that. But that's not the true him, you feel me? It's something deeper in his heart that comes out in his music. And that's killing. That's talking about drugs and talking about effing this girl and effing that girl. Me personally, I, like I said, I can't protest. I can't protest. Uh... I can't protest of a, over a man that that literally done things in his music that got him in the posi uh, predicament that he in now. The man tried to run away from the police. From what I heard, he ran. He was run, ramming into police cars or tried to ram into the police or whatever. However, the story went. I don't know the exact story. Hopefully, black. Uh, <laughs> that was going to come out so wrong. Hopefully, black conservative perspective. Uh, you know, showed like what happened with the guy or whatever. But. My whole thing is if he's trying to do this and police have to use force on him, I mean, literally, if he would have stopped, complied with the police, he'd probably still be here with us today. I'm just saying. But nope, black people never want to hold accountability. Everything is police brutality. Everything is white power. Everything is white privilege. Everything is white, 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 white. America is just so white. It's just every white, white, white. I'm tired of the whiteness. I'm just tired of it. Oh, white, 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 this, white, that, white, that, white, that. It's just irritating, bro. Never to be forgotten. We cannot have a situation where somebody is shot dead through the windscreen of a car and the officer concerned was not immediately suspended from yeah. the police force. Not from duty, but from the police yeah. force. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so tell me you haven't seen that before. And guys, I'm telling you, this is the same old story that you hear every single time how these people come out here and act like the suspect was so innocent. He was just turning his life around and he was focused on his family and he wasn't participating in any criminal activities and such and such and such. And this is racism from the police and yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to tell you guys what the alleged story is here. Okay. And then we're going to read about this a little bit more. So allegedly what happened is that this guy, Chris Cobble, was flagged because he was driving in a car with a license plate that was connected to a firearm incident that had happened in the UK maybe a couple weeks ago or something like that, right? And police started basically chasing him, right? 
and they ended up having to stop him by ramming his vehicle, actually using physical force from other vehicles to make him stop. He wouldn't stop. Okay, so he was resisting pulling over for the police. They get out of the car after he stopped, and they uh, tell him to get out of the car, right? They tell him to get out of the car, and he refuses to get out of the car. At that point, he then allegedly tries to take off in the vehicle and ram the police. And the police at that point had to shoot him to stop him from potentially taking the life of another police officer because he was essentially about to ram into the police with his car. So once again, we have an incident where a black person, a black male, could have made it out alive had he just followed instructions, had he just complied and got out of the vehicle. Bro, I swear, I, I swear I do not watch this. I swear I did not watch this video. Man, this man just have the same point of views. Literally. I mean, man, this, we would be very, very, like, best friends. Like, Black Azur, I hope you watch this, bro. We would be best friends, bro. You got to hit me in the DMs, man. Well, he could still be alive, but because he didn't do that, that is why he's dead. Now, you guys got to keep in mind, in the UK, not all police officers carry weapons, right? That's yeah, actually a pretty controversial that's thing crazy. going on over there. A lot That's of people wild. feel comfortable with all police being armed, right, with firearms. So for the UK to send their armed police after this guy, they had reason to believe that he probably was dangerous. Now, again, he was connected to a criminal gang, okay, that was known as 6-7, right, the drill rap group. Now, his family alleges that he wasn't taking a part in any of those criminal activities, that he actually left the group, and that he was turning his life around and focused on, you know, his fiance and his um, unborn child. Again, the same old story you always hear, but the vehicle that he was driving uh, was not his, so we don't know if it was stolen. We have no answers from the family in regards to why he was driving that vehicle, why he didn't comply with the police. The only thing we're getting from- And, and, and you know, it's crazy. I never understood. Like, this is why, this is another reason why I could not support Black Lives Matter. Because they're literally protesting and then they literally say, uh, Black Lives Matter when like an incident with the police and the black people happened. But what they don't know is that if the black person that was, that, that got killed by the police, if they just complied with the police, I promise you that man will still be here today. And that goes for a lot of black people. A lot of black people. You know what I'm saying? That died by the police. If they just comply. A, a couple years in jail is way better than dying. Well, if you lived a life according to God, then okay, that's there. But if you didn't live your life according to God, a couple years in jail and verse dying, it's way better to live it's way better to just spend your time in jail than just to die. I promise you, especially if you didn't live a life according to God. Trust and believe. So my whole thing is like, I never, and then they say, and then they always say, oh, they was this and they was this, they was that. Like, bro, you see the music that they put out? Like, no offense to FBG Duck and his family. No, 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 like, I'm not throwing shade. If y'all don't know who that is, that was another drill, a Chicago drill rapper. Basically, he ended up dying uh, by the gun because he lived by the gun. So he died by the gun, but his mother came out saying he was this and saying it was this. That man dissed everybody in one of the songs that he did before dying. Literally, he dissed every op. Every op, he dissed all of them. But you could, but you say that he he was this and he was that and he was this. He dissed all these people. He dissed the dead. He talked about the dead, which got him in a predicament where he in now. I'm just saying, man. We gotta start holding accountability. We can't keep saving enough for people that do dumb decisions. You have you have control over your life. You make the you make the choices for your life. If you make the choice to live by the gun, guess what you're gonna do in the future? You're gonna probably die by the gun, most likely. Not saying that's always the case, but nine times out of ten, that's what's gonna happen. From them and woke revolutionaries is that this is racism, right? So with that being said, let, let's go ahead and read more about this. Black Lives Matter activists gather outside the Scotland Yard on Saturday, just yards away from where Queen Elizabeth II is lying in state to protest against the police shooting a drill rapper who allegedly drove a car at officers. Activist groups such as Stand Up to Racism, Black Lives Matter UK, and Forefront join with politicians such as far left former Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn to protest the police alongside family members of Chris Cobber, a 23-year-old drill rapper who was shot dead following a car chase in which he allegedly drove his car at law enforcement officers. Marcia Rigg, the sister of Sean Rigg, who died in police custody in Brixton in 2008 from a cardiac arrest during a schizophrenic episode, led the 
crowd in a chant of, quote, no justice, no peace. Quote, another one, another black man shot unnecessarily by the Metropolitan Police. And what a week for it to happen. This week, the whole country is grieving. We are grieving for our loved ones, our kings, our queens. Let's not forget that, she said. Another BLM activist noted, quote, have you noticed most of this fight is being done by strong black queens? Right. All right. So I want to comment on this because this right here is the single biggest issue in the so-called black community. Whether that be in the UK, apparently, or in the US, right, is the fact that we're led by strong black queens, okay? When you allow women to lead you, right, as a man, um, <laughs> this is the type of stuff that happens, okay? Because a lot of these women are raising these young men, okay? They're being raised by these strong queens. And where has that gotten us, right? It's gotten us to the bottom of the totem pole. Black community cannot make any progress whatsoever until the black man is restored <laughs> to his rightful position, which is the leader of the household. But, 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 you know, you know, it, some, I got something to say about that. Now, me personally, I disagree with that. The reason I disagree with that is because the black men today act like boys themselves. So I, <laughs> so literally, I mean, who, who supposed to be really leading? Because guess what? These women, they lay with little boys instead of grown men. They lay with immature boys instead of grown men. So these little boys, they leave when they find out that the woman they slept with is pregnant. It's like a little boy can't lead a little boy. You know what I'm saying? It's like a little girl can't, she can't, she can't raise another little girl. These kids out here having, having babies at freaking 14, 14, 15, bro, you a baby yourself. Your mommy's still putting a meal on your on your plate. She's still putting a meal on your table. And you trying to raise a little kid. How can a baby lead a baby? How that's like the blind leading the blind. These men nowadays, they 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 don't have the they don't have what it takes to raise another man. They're raising little boys. Because half of these grown men are in these gangs out there. Half of these grown men are doing things they shouldn't be doing. Then they have a kid and they don't see no change. It's no change in them. They say, you know what? I got to be better for my son. My daddy. My dad had a kid. Left the hospital. The man name not even on my birth certificate. He left the hospital for whatever reason. From what I'm being told. The man left the hospital for whatever reason to go into the streets. To do what he got to do. But... He got a whole kid. His baby mama just had me, which is, you know, I'm his son. Had a whole kid and, I mean, nowhere to be found. But he supposed to be raising me to become a grown man. But the man wanted me to be in the streets with him. That's why my mama had to raise me herself. And I think she did a pretty good job. And then luckily I had a stepdad who came in my life and who taught me how to be a man for real, for real. I learned how to fight from the man. I didn't know how to fight. I was a little sissy. I didn't know how to fight. But now I know how to fight. I wasn't working out. I was a little, I was a little, you feel me? I was, I was that. Because I had my mom raise me. We need grown men, real men, into the households of these, uh, to these kids. We need real men, not little boys. We need real men. It all starts in the household. But I, I, I see what he's saying, but... Man, in today's time and age, man, it's hard to find a grown man who will step up to the plate and be an actual man so he can lead his son. It's hard to find that, bro. Oh, in the community. When our community is being led by black women, right, women, and again, this is no spite at black women or anything like that. I'm just saying, I believe in gender roles. I believe men are natural leaders. I think that men should be leading our communities. I am not, you know, afraid to say that. Uh, but yeah, because we have a lack of strong male leadership, that's the real problem. Oh. The problem is that you well, I should have let you finish talking. My bad. See, that? It's crazy man. I, you got all these. I love this guy. I love this guy, man. You need to hit me in the DMs. These movements like Black Lives Matter, they're being led by these so-called strong black women, and look what the result has been. It has been the glorification of the worst of the worst in our society, right? And again, this kind of alludes to what these woke revolutionaries talk about in Africa. Okay, where they try to praise, you know, Africa before European colonialism and say, well, Africa was matriarchal, right? They didn't have gender roles the way we have gender roles. The Europeans created homophobia and the gender binary. <laughs> and I'm like, well, 
that's probably primary, primarily one of the reasons why these African uh, kingdoms have not been as successful as the Europeans. It's because they're being led by women, right? You say that as if that's something to be proud of. You say that as, that's, as if that's something that, you know, they should celebrate, right? No, no, no. One of the reasons why uh, a lot of these African kingdoms got wiped out is because they thought that women could be men. Okay, evidenced by what happened to the Dahomey. Okay, that film that I've been talking about in which they had African women who thought they were men. And once they actually started to fight men, even in hand-to-hand -hand combat, they found out very quickly that they were not men. Right? Mm. So again, the problems here is that we're being led by strong black queens <laughs> instead of being led by strong black men. Okay, that's the problem. Former Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn said that the, quote, demonstration today, despite everything else that is going on in the national morning, that is going on, the fact that we are here is very important. It's bearing witness with the family to their tragedy. Quote, we can't have a situation where someone shot dead through the windscreen of a car and the officer concerned was not immediately suspended from the police force in any other job, profession, walk of life. If someone else dies as a result, possibly of your actions, you get suspended. The separate, the socialist claim. Yeah. So again, it, it's the same old, same old stuff, man. Same old, same old stuff. It, it's always, you know, the police fault. It's always racism. It's never the fault of the individual Thank who you. allegedly had plenty of time to follow the instructions and the commands of Thank the police you. in order to save his life. But what we have here, guys, is a group of people, okay, who apparently have nothing else to do. But to protest in front of the Queen's Memorial, okay, while the whole country is mourning at the loss of their queen, okay, um, she's lying in state and they're protesting over a drill rapper, a drill rapper, and they're glorifying this person, they're calling them, that's our king, right, that's our king, how many king times have queen. you heard a black person ever call people like Ben Carson, okay, or people like Thomas Sowell, or the late Herman Cain, right? Any successful black person, where have you heard a black person ever call them kings? Exactly. Right? The people that we're calling kings and queens are baby mamas and drill rappers. Those are kings and queens. And then you wonder why we can't get ahead. Well, we can't get ahead because we're glorifying the wrong people. We're glorifying the wrong stuff. Black people that are successful outside Whoa. of, you know, rap and athletics, um, they're looked down upon. They're sellouts, they're toms, they're such and such and such, right? But again, the black people that are, you know, again, negative impacts on society, they're glorified, right? They're royalty to us. Yeah. Again, this is why we're at the bottom of the totem pole. But as you can see here, obviously, it's not something that's just in black Americans. <laughs> also in black UK as well, too. They got the same issue. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All right. So first off, I just want to say, man... I truly love black conservative perspective. I watch them off camera and things like that, but this video I did not watch at all. I was like, you know what? The title, everything, I'm gonna just go ahead and say this for the reaction. Me personally, um, with this whole situation, first of all, it's disrespectful to, to protest of somebody who died by a gun, who, you feel me, who lived this lifestyle, who didn't comply with the police at a queen, at Queen Elizabeth uh, Memorial. That, first of all, that that's, disrespected within itself you know what i'm saying because you protesting of a man who who didn't comply with the police what do you expect what do you expect oh he was this oh he was that y'all call these people y'all kings but man the only person that should be your king in your life is jesus christ that's the only king that you should be worshiping to the pedestal y'all be worshiping the wrong people and and black search black he's right what about all the people that's outside of rap that's outside of all the other things that's successful in, in things like freaking psychology or something like what, what about all those people? What about people who actually have common sense? What about the black people who got common sense? Why are they not kings? What about the black women like Candace Owens who got a lot of common sense? Why they're not called queens? They're called the white people pets. They're called this. They're called that. People had called me the white person slave or something like that. I'm like, okay. Okay, I like your stupidity. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this uh, situation in the comment section below. Shout out to Black Conservative Perspective. Y'all definitely got to go check him out if y'all don't know who he is. 
Uh, he got more subscribers than me. But, you know, that's not the point. I mean, that's still, that's not my dog. You feel me? That's like a brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, a brother that I never met before. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about the situation. Hit the like button, subscribe to our post notifications. Follow your boy on IG. What is y'all doing, man? Follow your boy on IG. Without further ado, it's me, your boy, the pen. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.